know, serving people nourishment is something that is very, in my opinion, very sacred because it helps people, their bodies function, their minds function, and them being able to work and them being able to be productive. I make sure that no student has to learn on an empty stomach. From a kitchen in Kenya, a nutrition revolution is underway. As one woman works to make sure kids are getting the right food, to keep their minds sharp and their futures bright. 29-year-old Wawira Njiru set up the organization Food for Education in her hometown, Ruiru, Kenya. A lot of kids in Kenya and around Africa go to school hungry and that impacts how they're able to learn and that even impacts their decision whether they're going to go to school that day or they're not. And so Food for Education works to find a really low cost and efficient model of making sure that kids are getting very high quality nutritious meals. Our meals are produced in a central kitchen where we produce the meals and then we distribute them to the schools. Currently we distribute to 13 schools, scaling to more schools throughout this year with the goal of reaching 100,000 kids every day through the same central kitchen model that uses a 24-hour kitchen where we produce the meals overnight and make sure that at 12.40 when the bell rings in every school, children come out of class and find a hot nutritious meal waiting for them. Like clockwork, these specially fitted trucks are loaded with warm food and head off across town, pulling into a buzzing courtyard just in time for the lunch bell. But one question nagged at Wawira. How do you make sure all of these children don't lose their lunch money? So she looked for a solution using the newest technology. We are at Terra Softworks, a logo technology company that helped us develop Tap to Eat. Now we came to that with a simple idea. How do we get kids to use technology to access nutritious meals? This was a process that took a couple of months from the prototyping to deciding, is it wristbands that's gonna work? Is it credit card types? And we were able to do that together and came up with a solution of wristbands. And so far, we're able to provide 10,000 meals every single day through Tap to Eat. Students are given orange bracelets, which are linked with a mobile money service. Parents are able to make micropayments to the meals, and they do this to contribute 15 cents for every meal that a child eats. And this is 15 shillings, which is the cheapest meal in Kenya. So they tap on a mobile device, where once they do that, we're able to assure that the 15 cent contribution has been made. And once that is done, the child can have lunch.